let's just let's just talk about porn. Let's just generally talk about it and see where it goes. Let's talk about. It. I mean, there there is a just battle brewing. Talk like people, it. I think a lot of people don't see the battle brewing, right? Like I, I listen to my share of uh, conservative podcasts. I listen to a lot of podcasts. I like to feel what's going on in the world, you know, from all sides. Um, all the things, all the things. I don't want to tip my hand. Stuff or. <laughs> There's no conservative porn podcast Ministers, as far as bro. I know. Um, but this is actually Ministers like a, this is truth. actually a thing that people are talking about on the right. And I, I told you guys so that, open with this. Yeah, like a J- JD Vance, right? He's a Senate candidate from Ohio, author of Hillbilly LG, which was recently made into a movie. He's really like kind of like becoming like the populist voice of this sort of middle America right voter, right? Like he called. Uh, recently for like a federal ban on porn saying it was sort of destructive to the family yada 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 um, and then I was telling you guys I, I saw on the the actual official Republican Party platform they say that porn is quote unquote a public health crisis um, public health crisis public health crisis so I was curious to get all of your view on this. I think Nick doesn't have like any particularly strong. <laughs> it's, it's he doesn't want to talk about no, no, the fact this. that he wanks it three no. times a day. It's okay. <laughs> like, it's okay, bro. <laughs> I no, know I, you have a problem. I just think this we'll is like keep a, it. We'll keep it behind the pod. It's it's a very like simple <laughs> like I don't know solution. I don't know simple like perspective on. It. I mean, maybe you guys have more complex you know perspectives on this, but like the the idea is that like less is better like porn has been scientifically proven to like hyper stimulate like unnatural amounts of dopamine in in your brain and that's not good and it's probably not good for your brain it's probably not good for your relationship so in general less is better and i'm not saying like it, it, and, and also like uh you but know can, t- can we just apply that to heroin as well can you, i just apply could, that to alcohol this. you fuck is better. uh mezcal junkie but uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, and, and in terms of, like, J.D. Vance, no, you shouldn't ban it. Like, we, we just talked about, like, having freedoms to own a gun. Like, you should have Absolutely freedom to, to to look at porn. Let, let's step back from the federal it's not ban. That, I don't think this little out there. That, that complicated. It's, it's, a very, it's the far, right? I, I think we can maybe argue some. I, I could probably, I could try to steel man it if I wanted to, like, really get out there. Let's let's go to the public health crisis. Do, do you what feel like is porn is the public, public health, health problem? Crisis? What is the crisis? I mean... I actually kind of agree with the. I thought you really agreed. So bring it. Statement. Like, what is the thing that you agree with about this? No, Talk like about the public I, health problem. Yes. No, I, I generally, I am sympathetic to the sort of uh, religious right argument that like porn is like this like terrible thing that's a scourge on society. I kind of thirty-seven I years think old. It's you got no true. <laughs> Where are you? I kind of think it's true. I was just wanking it to Bro, blurry videos porn? on my my black box. Yeah, I know, but like, no, um, really, tell me, like, what what is the what is the issue here for like a public health issue? In, in, in all seriousness, like, I I, I think it's like uh, it's like mental heroin. If heroin was like, well, I guess we we have fentanyl. It's like mental fentanyl. So is it just like uh, people are walking around overly stimulated and mentally high all the time? It is like, as a human, I I don't think there's anything more primal or like, other than the desire to breathe and eat up to a particular point, I I don't think there's anything more of like a driving force, like in in men especially, right? Mm -hmm. I would argue, I would even argue that like eating is only up to a point of survival and then you'd probably switch over to the sex, right? I think like most men would just, if they had like a million girls being like, please take me now, they would only eat the minimal amount to like stop their heart from beating to kind of, yeah, yeah, like like all the the, the bowls you hear about and everything, right? I agree with that. Good point. I so, agree with that. I, I I think it's a massive. I, I think it's a problem. Um, can I can I throw some funny stats? Oh, I don't know please. if they're funny or sad. I, I was researching this a little bit. I was like looking up some stats. Um, uh, Pornhub, biggest site in the world, three and a half billion visitors a month. That's people more forget than Netflix, that by the way. More than Amazon. But the Pornhub biggest, isn't no, just no, no, Pornhub. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry, no, sorry. That's not the right. Three and a half million visitors. Billion, billion, okay. billion. The biggest. And Pornhub is a porn site in the world. That is, uh, their top ten biggest websites in the entire world. 
But in reality, they're bigger because Pornhub is a part of this conglomerate, MindGeek, and they own all these other sites that also have massive traffic. So three and a half billion visitors a month. Sounds like a lot. It is a lot, right? But the, the stats get worse. They, 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 they do this like year in review every year where it's just this kind of like really fun good. thing. But then you read it and you're like, this is actually kind of fucking disturbing. Um, they show you like the top terms search by everybody, which I went through and I was like, oh my goodness. Oh yeah, no, um, no, no. The, the North America thing is like everyone's trying to but, fuck but their stepsister. He, here's a, actually I have, I have the, updated, the updated search. You might I be got thoughts on that this. too. But like every minute do. of the year, 11,000 hours of video was watched. Every minute of last year, the entire world cumulatively watched 11,000 hours of porn just on Pornhub. 12,500 <laughs> gigabytes of data Honey's per watching minute one minute was an hour. transferred. <laughs> <laughs> if you watched all the videos uploaded last year, you would have to start in the year 1850 to end up in the present day <laughs> by the time you watch them all. Right. Like, th like it, it's kind of insane. And, and there's some stuff that's like really sad. Like the, the, the average age a kid watches poor now is now below 11. Whoa. And it's really? not like, and they're not watching, they're, they're not opening like a dirty well, playboy magazine I done anymore. That. I would have done that. I was watching like, you know, literally shit that when was you just and like I grew up, breaking porn up on was like you, you had to tweak your, TV and there was some grainy He's thing. Hitting the, the, and like the maybe you saw box. a nipple. These kids aren't seeing that. They're seeing like just straight up, yeah. boom, 4K, direct baby. mainline. Okay, weird. You're, shit, yeah, this you know? is where we stand. What do you boys think? I mean, let's let's get in. Let's get into where. What do you guys think? I I want one of you to argue with me why this isn't like the worst thing ever for humanity. Because like I kind of feel like an aggregate. As a general rule, it's terrible. All right, so so let's say it, I don't want to say worst thing ever, but it's it's really bad. It's worse than all of the. I will say it's worse than all of the drugs we. What do you want to do? You want to regulate porn? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. I, I do. No. I do. No. I do. I mean, we can get into that after, but I want okay, so, I want to hear you like yell at me. So first. so <laughs> let's let's follow your argument. Me. So like I I agree that like porn is bad for your brain, and porn is potentially bad for your relationship as well. So like. Take me the next step further. Why that is? Why it's much more worse? Do you think I can do like, all kinds of things that are bad for me? I don't need the government to regulate them. Just yeah, like, like everything else we always talk about. Perfect. Oh, I'm glad you brought up that argument because, like, I'm literally drinking mezcal next to you. We've been smoking fucking puff bars. We're all gonna night. go back to the prohibition. Exactly. Like we can do all these things that are not good for you, but they feel good. Look, mm. take. Uh, you you want like a response that look like <laughs> is porn as an addiction overall when you're doing too much of it bad for you oh my god we can talk about that for hours fundamentally you don't fuck the same you don't think the same you don't love your girlfriend or boyfriend the same and by the way I am talking to men and women there are plenty of women that have porn addictions but they have them in different ways some women just want to sit around and come four times a day and they can and it's a lot easier for them and men how many times a day do you really need to ejaculate to feel good about yourself for me once every five to seven days and my brain keeps working i keep the fucking yeah no i'm talking seriously about you guys and i'll tell you guys my rule you know we said how personal were we going to keep it how open we're going to keep no, it tell I'll be, me i'll be everything. honest with you i've had enough wine <laughs> tell me I, I i think it's actually really important so i do want to share every five to seven days for me um uh, in general like when we're actually really what we're really talking about here is how often are you actually as a man we're just talking specifically to men ejaculating i think if you're having sex as often as you like and is normal in your relationship is completely okay where things get sticky no pun intended <laughs> is when <laughs> you're you're doing it outside of your relationship Am I saying don't do it out of sight of your relationship? No, I am not. No, I am not. I am saying if you do it more often than you're having sex with your partner, you're missing out on sex that you would be having with your partner because you're jerking off to girls that don't actually exist. They exist 
in that fucking metaverse, which is about to get weirder and weirder and weirder. And you know what they're going to do? They're going to change hair colors and they're going to have funny little fucking features that are going to be impossible for the woman that you find in your life to ever recreate. And so what happens to you? You become numb. To Stephen's point, why is this really a public health crisis? Because you become numb. Because you can't actually be attracted anymore to the person that you think you want to be with. And if you can't be attracted to them, then your relationship suffers. And you know what happens if your relationship suffers? Then maybe you won't ever have a baby with that person. Maybe you won't ever procreate with that person. I, I, I think there's really fundamentally issues there where like, or maybe even before that, you never even find that person. Because this porn addiction found you at 13. And so really like another one of the subtopics here is the whole virginity thing. The rising right? case the of rising virginity. The rising case of virginity that none of us, thank God, ever had to <laughs> deal with. But it was like for us, it was normal like by the time you're in high school to get laid, you know, at least by then. But now what's happening is you have Snapchat, you have TikTok, you have porn. And the best you can do to feel connected to a girl is send a text. And that gets, that's like erotic. It's like, ooh, yeah, she kind of fucking yeah. sexted me. And imagine and, where and, it's going. And that's it. Imagine where we're going in the metaverse. Like, it's only going more and more that direction. Like, so how are we even like sustain our civilization when, when this transition happens, right? If, if we still believe that that's going to happen, which I think we all do, like, where is this going? Yeah, I, I mean, there, there is a real case there. There is a real case there where it becomes harder to like procreate like because you you're just so caught up in like the ultimate fucking fantasy with three women with your vr headset on in the future which may only be a year or two away like i mean most these days like most people don't really watch porn that way like most people don't but like if in two to three four years that's the preferred way to watch porn and it's better than real life and we start to get like this as uh, what do you mean if it's better than real life like porn is already better than real life for like a lot of people <laughs> that's why there are all these drop-offs right so, it's better yeah, up I, here I, it's not better down here yet it I, still I, feels your better. brain is the thing that like matters that's where all the little chemicals are released that make you feel good like that is the problem that's where all the crack receptors are I, I just still can't take the jump to like public health crisis here. So like I agree that like population decline is a very much of a public health and an economic crisis. But I don't think that like porn is the primary driver of that. Like so can, I, I feel like I still haven't heard the best argument for like why the, I, it's a public I, I, health crisis. I don't crisis. think the public health crisis is the J.D. Vance like oh God we're not starting enough families thing. Like that I, I get where he's coming from. He's like a religious right guy. I, I do think that we are kind of destroying families and that sort of thing to a degree. I, I, I see that point of view. Like to, to me, the public and you guys are talking about like the, the, I, I hear this argument a lot, right? Like, oh, I'm in my room just fucking burnt. And who cares? Why do you care what I and do? They don't, right? and, and a lot of these guys, you and if you're out there listening and you don't leave your room, like, why do you care? Bro, jump in the Discord. And Let's talk crypto. <laughs> like, get out there. Come give a little ramp in our Discord. Yeah. Like, I understand that a lot of people are out there like, fuck you, Steven. You're going to close the door behind you. You get your, like, your beautiful girlfriend. You're like, you can jerk it to some blah, blah, blah in your room. And I, and I, and I, I, I get that, right? So I, I don't want to be like, this is blanket terrible for everybody nobody should ever do that I'm just, I'm just saying like it is it is dangerous and we 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 don't acknowledge the danger of it and we actually like glorify it to a large degree in society which I think is very dangerous right and to get back to what I was saying earlier we talk about it as though it's this like isolate it's the same as you drinking in your room right when you drink makers right your consumption of the makers even though it might kill you if you drink too much of it, it doesn't have any impacts on the rest of society, right? The, your increased demand for makers means that somebody makes more makers or bookers or whatever the hell your alcohol of choice is, It does is, also right? mean that you might die, and that is... It does, but you dying is your own choice, right? But there are other things we do in this world and that so do have... And so is you have, jerking yourself off into obliteration until you never right, have feeling in your penis you again. Right, when you allow this stuff to proliferate, you create a demand for it, there's a huge market for it. 
and then it's completely ungated and it can get in the hands of like there's literal like eight year olds who have phones who get like addicted to this stuff at a stage of their life where their brain is super plastic, right? Yes. And then it forms in a particular way and they okay, can now never you're get getting over to this. something I, I think like, is interesting. Like and if, I if agree you with. go to like Reddit, like no fa- there's like a whole like actual I don't know if you guys know this, but this is like huge internet sub community of like anti porn, like they call it like no fap on Reddit, whatever, right? It's a bunch of people who have kind of gotten together collectively and been like, holy fuck, like I am literally like a heroin addict that's like destroyed my life. And they all support each other and, and, and try to get over it. Like if you read some of this stuff, it's like heartbreaking. There are literally 12 year olds, 13 year olds who are impotent. Of course. At 13. Of course. Like 13, like a light breeze there gave is me a boner. No <laughs> just like more, there is no more. Girl walk by with like one like slight, just slight nipple in her like lopsided boot. It's the boner. most like tragic everything. rabbit hole of all. 13, I had a boner every 40 seconds. Like. No, There's nothing man. I could do about it. No, because the best you had was a fucking weird ass TV or a magazine or half a boob or Nat Geo. You know, like that's what you had. And what they have, to Steven's point, is high definition fucking, man. And it is crazy what you can access. High grade, concentrated uh, there's like brain a crack. Pack it's of like testosterone like or something. Absolutely, there is. Of it's course, way there down. is. And that could be partly environmental, and part of the environmental piece could be porn. Food based, could, could be, be a lot. Could be food of it. based, could be the, in the air, could be the chemicals in your fucking cleaning, could be the fact that people don't lift as much, could be the fact, so, so many things, right? And, and we've talked about this many times, but like one major factor for sure is like you're, you're not supposed to watch that much porn and ejaculate that often. Like that's, that's not normal at, at all. Because what, what's normal is. Like, let's just go back a hundred years. Let's, what would it be a hundred years ago? It would be through sex, and in adolescence, it would be maybe through jerking off, but it would be like in your brain and in your head and through your imagination. 